Hi guys, I am going to do, this is haul one. This is the things that I purchased for myself and some things I purchased for Heather when we went to the American Girl store. And then I am going to do haul number two, which will include what my kids each picked out. And then haul number three is the stuff that I ordered and it arrived the day well, one of the things arrived a while ago. I just never threw it in a haul. And another one was... Um, the other stuff came the day that we went to the store. So anyways, first up, before I get into the stuff that I purchased for myself and actually Heather, I'm going to show you. I had mentioned we got um, two of the dolls' hair done. I got Addie's hair done, and my son picked to get Sage's hair done. We decided to get them put back in the original hairstyles. Um, both girls, I had tried doing it and I got frustrated and gave up. So we'll start out with Sage. Um, Sage is in her meat outfit. All we really have for Sage is her um, dog. My son absolutely loved Sage, but he loved her video, like literally when her movie came out. I don't know how many times we watched the Sage movie because he was obsessed with the Sage movie. I don't know why. Like, her storyline, nothing he was really interested in at the time, but he loved Sage. So I was able to track down this, I think it was the year after Sage was Girl of the Year. Um, so I was able to track down a Sage for him for his birthday one year, and he absolutely loves her. But her hair was not in the original style, and you can see she's missing her earrings as well. Um, I honestly didn't realize she didn't have them until we were at the store. Oh, she got a boo-boo in her ear. Oh, wow. Well. Um, but... We got her hair done. She's got this beautiful reddish brown hair. And we got her hair done in the twist, initial original twist that her hair is supposed to look like. And my son picked this red and gold ribbon because he thought it would match her dress. And it actually looks pretty nice with her dress. So that's how Sage's hair is supposed to be. It kind of curls around into the front of her. I know this seems like a simple hairstyle, but I don't know what the heck they do to do it. I know it's like two pieces twisted together and every time I twisted them together they'd untwist and then I just got frustrated and gave up. So I'm like, I'll pay them $15 to put Sage's hair back in the original style. Um, my son doesn't really play with his dolls. Um, some of them, a few of them, his favorites, he'll like change. And he will play with them when his sister asks to play with them. But he's got like Sage, he's got Isabel, um, Julie he usually plays with. There's a few of them in his collection that he doesn't really play play with, but... Um, Sage is one of I think it's Sage, Isabel, um, Marie Grace. There's a few others that he doesn't really play with. But right now we don't have them hung up because this is a rental and we don't plan on being here very long. Um, when we get a house again, um, he wants them back hung up in his room. But yeah, so he wanted Sage's hair done back to the original hairstyle that way when she gets hung up on his thing or how, he, how we hang up the dolls. Um, she will have her original hairstyle. So there's Sage. And next I got Addie's hairstyle done back on the original hairstyle. Um, for the historical, she's in her Be Forever meet, but, um, I do have her historical. She is a Pleasant Company doll, so I wanted it done in the Pleasant Company style. When she initially came out, her hair was poofier, like when they had it. I mean, this was like a big poof. This is a tighter, um, it's like a, a loose braid on top and tighter down here. And then it curls in and honestly, I don't know how they attach it. I'm not about to deconstruct it because I just paid to have it put back in the original hairstyle. Um, like I said, she has her Be Forever or her historical outfit. I just personally, I'm not a pink person. I think this blue one is beautiful on her. Um, I absolutely adore her beautiful, or the blue one. But I wanted her um, Pleasant Company hairstyle put back in. So I chose to go with the black and the blue ribbon because it matches this outfit. Um, I can't remember. This outfit, like when she came out, she had ribbons in her hair. But since I bought the outfit... Um, I did buy it through American Girl when I was at the Mall of America. We had to order it, and then it was shipped to my house um, free of charge for shipping. I obviously had to pay for the dress. 
um, but it just came with the dress, the bloomers, you can see her seashell necklace, that's um, part of her Pleasant Company set, um, the socks and the shoes. It did not come with the hair accessories um, that the dolls have on them when they come new. I do have the pink one that goes with her, or the pink bow that goes with, ribbon that goes with her um, Pleasant Company outfit or her historical outfit. So I thought I'd do black and the blue to match this one since I don't have a set to match that one. So those are the two dolls that got the hair done. I don't have my niece's doll. We got her doll pierced. Um, we gave her Kit for her birthday. So Kit got her ears pierced while we were there. And then these are a few things I picked up. Um, I actually have to mail this off. This I got for Heather. Um, if you look in one of my previous videos, I actually opened it up and unboxed this set. It is the Team USA um, metal ceremony kit um, or set. I got this for Heather because when Heather ordered her set or when American Girl had um, released these just for Barry members, we got to purchase them, pre-order them early. We did not see this one on the website. We kind of had to do backdoor links um, to get the other items, but we did not see this one initially. I went in and reordered it. She chose not to at that point because she didn't want to pay shipping. While I was in the store, um, there were some items I was purchasing from her, so I asked her if she wanted me to pick it up while I was there. And she's like, yeah, just take it off what I owe you, or what I owe her, so. Or take it off what you owe me. So I have to ship this to Heather, but I'm not gonna open this, so I did pick this up for Heather. Set that over there. Um, they're not in here. I don't even know what I did with the plastic package. Oh. So I found this interesting. Um, these are the little um, sheets. When you take your doll to the salon, um, so that has like our appointments and information, so it's doll, salon. They give you these point or parts and it goes down. So when you go down to pay, you can pay either pay at the salon register or you can take them down to the register register and then it'll have like they'll check off. So mine is return to original style for 18 inch characters. So it's $15 for both of them. And then when you go back up, you, you take these and the receipts back up stating that you paid them. Oh man, I could have bought the nail polish. Maybe next time. I'm going to take another doll to get her hair did. Um, so, they're obviously not in here. I picked these up. Um, they are the best friends bracelets for the dolls. And I don't even think any of the kids' dolls that have them on. No, my kids' dolls that have them are in their bedrooms. Um, so, it was a set of three bracelets. There was the two best friends bracelets. And then there was, like, the... Um, like friendship bracelet that's like um embroider embroidery type cloth or embroidery type floss is what the ter correct term is i purchased those for the kids and each one of the kids got a bracelet my daughter got a best friend bracelet my niece got a best friend bracelet and then my son picked the friendship bracelet so the best friend bracelets if you want to know i only have one of them i think my daughter actually got the purple one and i have the green one so i've got the green one right here um when Crystal, Heather and I went to Minneapolis, Crystal bought this set and split it up amongst the three of us. So that's where I got that idea to get it because I still have it today. Um, so Crystal has the, I have the green one that says BFF on it. Crystal has the purple one that says BFF on it and then the two hearts connect. And then Heather has the um, best friend um, embroidery bracelet. So. I, I thought that was kind of a neat idea to split it up amongst the kids as well. Just kind of a little souvenir for the three of them to remember the trip by. Um, so Lily, my a Truly Me doll, has glasses. And Keisha, my new Truly Me doll, I keep looking at her and I'm like, she needs glasses. She needs glasses. And all I could ever find were the raspberry ones that I have on Lily which really suit Lily but I wanted to get some glasses for Keisha because the real Keisha wears glasses so I picked these up these are the dark blue glasses for dolls which um the real Keisha has um can't remember if it's blue or purple glasses that she wears so I got these for Keisha so it's the purple they're kind of a purpley dark blue and then they've got the pink um glasses case 
I think my other one is a purple glasses case for Lily's glasses. So these are for um, my Truly Me Keisha. Um, next, I did not know this even existed until literally a day before we went, or a day or two before we went, Crystal um, had mentioned she had gone to, um, what is it? Oh, the name of the store is escaping me. In Canada, the bookstore that, I want to say chapters, but that's not right. Um, that has the American Girl boutiques in it. Um, and they had just opened up and the American Girl store had opened up. And she's like, oh, I was so tempted to get this set. I picked it up. I walked around with it and I put it back. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't even, I've not even seen this set. And then I looked it up on the website, and sure enough, they have it. So I purchased it for myself when we're at the store. I was almost ready to order it until we decided to go to the store. It is the Truly Me Asthma and Allergy Set. Thought this was so stinking cute. So this includes one case, one rescue inhaler, one control inhaler, one rescue cartridge, one control cartridge, one asthma action plan, one inhaler chamber, one container of allergy medicine, one set of tissues, one allergy spray, which is like a nasal spray, one EpiPen, one bracelet, and one set of stickers. So stinking cute. They, um, I don't think they had this one on display. We got in the store. Sorry, guys. Jack! I don't need Teffy to lose another two. Um, when we got in the store, I had looked around, and then I finally decided to ask somebody... Okay, I'm going to have to rip this box open because it's not one I'm going to open. Um, I had to finally ask someone in the store where it was. And, like, if they even had any left because I believe they were back ordered on the website. Um, so. I purchased that. You know what, guys? I'm not even going to. I have it open, but I think I'm just going to show you guys and then open do a box opening of this stuff because I'm already at 12 minutes and I still have stuff left. So um, I'm going to do a box opening and a separate video of these because there's so many little can, little items in this and then another one of the things I got. Um, this is another item that I have been wanting for a while. Oh, back to that. I had to ask somebody if they even had any left. They had two left and they were kind of hidden off in the corner and I don't even think they had a display for those. But this they had a display for, and I have been wanting this forever. It is the Diabetes Care Kit. And I don't know if you can see the picture. I'll do a box opening with this because it's got a lot of little components as well. Um, this one, the Diabetes Care Kit. Uh, where's the English version? Contains one storage case, one ID card, one medical bracelet, one glucose monitor, one Lancet device, one glucose tablet container, one insulin pump, one insulin pen, one seed, sheet of stickers, one adhesive disc, um, one logbook, and then it goes into Spanish. But um, I've been wanting that for a while. Um, I had gestational diabetes with both of my kids, and I've got family members that have type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Um, prior to surgery, I was actually type 2 diabetic, but I wasn't insulin dependent. But I've always wanted this for um, my own personal collection. We're very, in this house, we have, we're, we're really inclusive. Um, we have the American Girl wheelchair. We have the American Girl crutches set. I want to get the hand crutch set, too. I want to get another just like you and make, have her have, like, handicap items. Because I want to have that diversity in my collection. Um, those for last. Oh, when I was talking about when we went and ate at the bistro, they gave us this while we were sitting at the table to do some little games, um, table time. Now, my daughter usually is stuck on a phone or tablet while eating. Um, I know it's a bad habit. I've been trying to break it, but I've been a, it's been a losing battle. But my daughter put down the phone, and we did these questions, and we had a good time, and we played the little trivia game while eating. So that was a nice time. Um... Then we've got, this I got for myself, I got the Team USA um, Gymnastics set. I contemplated ordering it when I ordered the softball set or when I ordered my medal set. 
I couldn't, I, I wanted to see them in person in all honesty. I was, I was hoping they had them in the store and they literally got them the day that we got there. They were actually setting up the displays while we were there. Um, but I wasn't sure if I wanted the soccer set, if I wanted the gymnastics set, or if I wanted the swim set. The swim set is super, super, super cute. Uh, I, I just kind of went back and forth. I may eventually try to get it before they retire it. Not sure yet. Um, the soccer set, there's a reason why I didn't get it. I'll have to discuss that later. So I ended up getting the gymnastics set. I thought that would look cute with the little jacket. So here's the gymnastics set. And it comes with one leotard, one hair tie, one pair of wrist guards, one pair of slippers, and one pair of shorts. So I thought that would look cute with the Olympic flag ceremony kit. And then lastly, I actually got three of these. One of them I gave to my niece. One of them is actually going to Heather, so I need to throw that over there. Guys, they brought back their purchase and a purchase. So I was able to purchase three of them. And I thought this outfit was super cute. They had it sitting on display on a doll, so I had to get it. Um, first off, it's this purple American Girl shirt. It's got a cute little rainbow on it, and then it's got... Um, coconut on it the dog american girl logo dog and it says choose your dreams and that's the coconut rainbow tea and then they paired it with the star star suspended skirt now i have not seen this i had seen this on the website but i have not seen this so this makes me believe that this is only for the purchase and a purchase um and this is just the a denim skirt um, dark denim skirt with like white stars on it and purple suspenders and like the little suspender hooks and they had them paired together and they were super cute on a doll I will probably be doing a changing video really soon and put this on Lily I don't know I, I might I don't know if I put this on Keisha or Lily I might put this on Keisha because this will look cute with those glasses I got her and then put the gymnastics set on Lily I might end up doing that I gotta see. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But anyways, guys, I got two sets of these. I got one for myself. I actually I purchased one for my daughter. But Heather and I were talking um, when I had told her about the purchase and a purchase, and I showed them to her, and she's like, "Oh, those are super cute. I'll have to figure out how to get that set." And I'm like, I had talked to my daughter, and my daughter's like, "You know what? I'll let Heather buy it from me because she's like, well, it's cute. I'm not in love with it." No, while I like it, I'm not in love with it is how she worded it. So there's a few other things that she would prefer to get instead of this outfit for her dolls. And that's fine by me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to do a box opening of these items in a later video. So I will do another haul video um, with my kids' items. And... I might have to do the unboxing videos, do their haul separate and their unboxing separate because it's just too much to put it all in one video. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you all later. Bye.